Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys, and welcome to another one of my Fortnite Into the Storm videos here. Super happy that Matty wanted to be my wingman here on the 7 day survival power level 40 survive the storm that we are digging into and that I'm just going to be briefly going through. Mainly my focus is of course sharing with you guys what loot are you going to be getting for crushing it 7 days in the game depending on how much you skip in it. We're talking almost 9 minutes of battle during the night and about the time during day so it is a huge amount of time you need to put into the game in order to complete this mission here and the first time around you do of course have like increased loot in that you get a banner and you get 1000 tickets for the into the storm llamas that you're going to be getting so completing it the first time is worth a huge amount more than the other times just fyi i'm relatively strong for this mission here so i just popped down the generator and like wrote to the others that i was ready whenever because my base should be able to deal with the first wave of attack pretty much on its own but with around five minutes left I decided to go in and do the vote because nothing was happening I wasn't really getting any we're ready kind of thing going on so what I did was I popped down my defender gave it the new neon sniper rifle that I'm going to be sharing a little bit with you guys in here as well and of course I got Val down and I got Dr. Poop hands down as well I don't know what he's called my, my assault rifle sniper and this was pretty much just because I had the impression that if I put down these three defenders with my 106 weapons, they should be able to pretty much do everything. So what I did was put those down so we had like a backup defense and then I would go like hold resources because I wanted to just get the bases up and running. Matthew was super cool, came to drop some resources for me. So like, thank you very much for that as well. So just, you know, put the defenders down, put the base down, made a box, a few traps, mainly the floor spikes, and then out to like clear the area where I knew it was very likely that that we would get another generator because we had it right there clear out the area gather resources and just you know, move on really so yeah i mean had loads of different weapons that i wanted to test out in here all of them being a little strong but look at this stuff here i can see through the mountain but that's not all no you can shoot through things with the new neon sniper rifle it is absolutely insane it does use energy ammunition making it pretty horrible in regards to that because i hate wasting that because it takes bacon but you can often pick it up so i've been holding up a few stacks in my storm shield storage so just sharing these few like scope ends and shots with you guys if you are curious about what it is and yes you can shoot through walls with it it is a thing and my defender has it because then they can just shoot things wherever they see them instead of like missing because there is an obstacle so i think it's a pretty cool weapon for that as well the downside however to the neon sniper rifle is that it breaks super fast at least that is my impression my defender spent three of them during the first few days in here then I replaced it with a super shredder instead that didn't break like so <laughs> I spent three of the neons and not even one super shredder so, so yeah there is a huge difference in in regards to that had loads of fun in here the main thing I feel about the survive the storm missions as they are right now possibly given my power level there is nothing hard it is just about having fun and of course winning me that I want to be having fun in a safe way because we are four players in here spending an hour plus we need our rewards the thing like really worth noting is that the the bases are super close to each other in this survive the storm we only really have the generator b that is further away from the others everything is clustered together here and then we have that one over there the others are very very close to each other meaning that if you are playing something such as power base nox you can cover a huge amount of the area just with that really so that was pretty much what i had in terms of the gameplay once again thank you maddie very much for wanting to assist me in here super cool times the rewards for completing the power level 40 seven days survive the storm are coming right around the corner we're getting a bit of a victory dance of course we are because i mean this is a victory we have been spending an hour in here crushing it hopefully those of you guys out there that are getting experience points are going to be getting some like decent batches of it i yeah don't get any of that so boohoo me the rewards the interesting stuff they're giving us a level five chest i'm not sure why but 90 tickets 7,000 survivor experience points 200 of those springing on gold two rare schematics and a legendary train transform for a defender and an epic survivor and an epic assault rifle schematic so that was a very nice batch of rewards for 40 power mission 1000 tickets and a banner that's a one-time thing and then i completed the eldrix abominations so i got a uh, active power cell so yay me regardless guys that was what i had to share in this video here coming up next is probably going to be the 15 power seven day survival so we have all of the rewards covered mostly i'm curious about seeing if we're going to be getting another legendary transform
transforms schematic for that because then I'm thinking farming time. Regardless guys, that was what I had to share this time around. As always, thank you very much and very much for watching.